Today we're doing corporate headshots. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn.com. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter at Flurn. Today we're doing something really cool. It's a corporate headshot, but we're taking the uh, common corporate headshot and we're spinning a little bit, mostly because I don't really like corporate headshots that much. I like editorial headshots. So we were kind of coming with an idea that's a little bit of a mix between. So the uh, like the feel and the, the look of a corporate headshot, but something with a little bit more style in it. And uh, so we've come up with a lighting setup that works for that. So we're gonna kind of take you guys through the lighting setup and also a couple other things that we feel are really important along the way in taking a headshot just like this. So Kalong, come along, just come along for the ride and uh, you get to see us wearing our big boy clothes. Ready for your corporate headshot here? All right, cool. So we're gonna do like kind of somewhere between like serious and not serious basically. The traditional corporate headshots can be a little bit, um, a little bit stale, in my opinion. A lot of the time, it's just uh, you know it's someone sitting on a chair. Sometimes it's in lo on location with like a blurry background. A lot of the time, it's just on a seamless, and uh, you know the individual is just like you know standing there with a with a smile. And a, a well done corporate headshot, the smile will seem like genuine and nice and real. And um, you know sometimes the smile comes across fake, which we definitely don't want. So. Our goal was to kind of take the idea of a corporate headshot and mix that with the editorial a little bit and get something that was a little bit more real. Um, you know, still like a, a classically good photo that a person could use, let's say, if on, on their website, the About Me section, things like that. Uh, so it's still something that's very usable, nice clothes, you know, well-dressed and groomed and manicured. Nothing crazy going on, smiling in a good mood and things like this. Uh, but also that like have that like genuine, real, raw feeling to them. Uh, so we built the whole shoot kind of around that idea. We're taking what was, you know, could be seen as a traditional uh, corporate headshot and adding that like nice, real attitude to it. And uh, the shots came out awesome. Go. Yeah, it looks good. All right, I'm gonna bring this light in a little bit closer, um, just to make sure we're we're lighting. Yeah. I'm gonna try to basically bring it like right to where the camera, is like right above the camera. So the setup for the shot was actually really easy. We had a, like a gray seamless backdrop, our subject sitting on a stool and then the camera's right in front of them. So camera, subject, backdrop. And uh, one of the tricks that I learned a little while ago is to use a pocket wizard and set that up as a remote trigger for the camera. So instead of having, you know, the photographer behind the camera kind of like looking through this thing and like, peeking out every now and then. Um, we set up a trigger so a person can just be walking around and the camera will just do its job. And they'll each be empty. <laughs> You're that kind of simple man, huh? What we found is that really lends to like a much more natural feel with, with the images because it's instead of like the subject kind of like feeling like, oh, what's going on with this dude? I can't even see his face, you know, he's behind the camera. Um, what we'll do is just have like a good conversation with the person and uh, be taking the pictures as this conversation is happening. And it really lends to uh, a more genuine feel. So that was a huge part of this shoot, you know, not to make it feel like someone's on stage, rather than just have that like real interaction and the real conversation, have that bring out, uh, you know, real emotion and real feeling from the people. Yeah, breathe in and then hold your breath for like maybe one or two seconds and then just like let it all out, like let all the air and just kind of like bring your shoulders down as you go and everything. There are a lot of ways you can connect with your subject and the way I would recommend is just have an actual real connection with the subject. If that's, you know, if they're just coming in and they're, you know, you've got five minutes to shoot a person, obviously you can't, you can't really get that connection um, to be that strong. But some things that we, we do is, uh, you know, people when they're, when they're a little bit calm, they tend to give you the real, who they really are. So um, we help people to like get to that place. And one of the exercises you can do is just a simple breathing exercise. That's as far as I go. <laughs> That's just, <laughs> there we go, let's, yeah. <laughs> Maybe don't sit so straight, sit like, sit like 90% straight. 
where it's comfortable. Yeah, right, right about there looks pretty good. As far as the camera settings are concerned, we kept it like relatively simple. It's just a standard, you know, settings that you would use just about any time you're shooting with a strobe. So we've got a couple strobes around, which means we don't want our shutter speed to be too fast because of the sync speed. So we're shooting at one over 1 60th of a second. We're shooting at ISO 100. These strobes are providing a lot of light, so we don't need to bump our ISO up. And we're shooting at F11 to F14, F14 depending on the skin color of our subject. And um, we really didn't want a lot out of focus. This was not that type of portrait. We still wanted the focus to go through from you know nose all the way back. So we're shooting uh, at around 80 millimeters as well. So not a whole lot of like compression. If you shoot a portrait at 200 millimeters or so, it tends to flatten people's out people's faces out, uh, you know, down near like 24 or 35 millimeters, you get a lot of perspective distortion. So right around 80, you know, that's why the 85 is a great portrait lens. So that's what, around where we were shooting all these portraits and uh, it just comes across as like a really nice natural feel. And uh, yeah, camera settings pretty simple. I think it's important to understand what your goal is with a photo shoot. Like if you want like a nice, honest, sincere photo of someone, don't do crazy lighting because that's just that's the opposite of honest crazy lighting is like staged so we went a little bit more um, you know just a, a lot of front lighting here not, no back lighting at all so we've got a, a medium sized octobox that's right above the head of our subject so that's you know just right here kind of shooting down on the person which is going to light their face pretty well and then give you like a nice fall off for the body um, because the light, main light is coming from directly above, they are going to get shadows like under their eyes here and under their chin in those areas. So we did bring in fill light as well. So right behind the camera, we've got a V flat setup, which is two like large four by eight sheets of, um, you know, you can use cardboard, you can use uh, foam core is what we have. And uh, we've got a couple of lights, just two lights pointing into that one lower and one higher. And so the light fires into those and then bounces off and then comes back and hits the subject and just provides like a nice amount of fill light so the shadows don't get too dark. So that's basically all the light that's hitting our subject. And then to give the background like a little bit more interest, we put a, uh, a light with a seven inch reflector right on the bottom side of the uh, seamless paper and that kind of creates that nice light glow that we see in these images. So um, really it's one main light on the subject with a fill being from the, from the V flat and then a light on the backdrop and that's it. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. I hope you enjoyed this little look behind the scenes of our corporate slash editorial headshot and uh, learned some things as well. If this is something you guys are trying, please post your images in a comment down below. I'd love to see them. Thanks so much. We'll flurn you later.